Hello and welcome to this video on the top five features of a SharePoint intranet. For those of you that have previously watched some of my videos or webinars, you'll know that I'm quite an advocate of out of the box SharePoint solutions. So I thought I would create a video to show you the top five features that I really like about SharePoint as an out of the box intranet. So starting at number five is the news carousel within SharePoint. Now the news carousel is one of the layouts for the news web part within inside of SharePoint. Now anyone who's created a modern SharePoint intranet will be aware that you can create these news articles and display them on the home page. However, what you might not be aware of is that there's multiple layouts of your news web part as well. So you don't have to just have the one type of layout. Now by edit, putting the page into edit mode and editing the web part, on the right hand side you'll see there's multiple different layouts. So we can have them in list format, side by side, hub news, or my favourite which is the carousel. Now this is allowing us to choose up to um, eight different news posts that it will slide through and we can even control how fast it will slide through. So when we republish this page, it's then going to show us our news in a nice slideshow which will automatically slide through the articles and when we click on them, it will then open up the full article. And number four would be the audience targeted navigation. Now what I mean by audience targeted navigation means that we can change who can actually see the links across the top bar. Now this will actually work for both the site navigation, which is what we can see here, as well as the hub navigation if we had a hub site and we had the hub navigation bar across the top. Essentially when we go to add a new uh, icon or, or uh, edit an existing link on the left hand side, you'll be able to see that we can specify um, the, the link, the address and the display name. However, at the bottom you can also see we can enable audience targeting. So if we turn that on and click on save, the next time we then go into the edit menu and then create a new item, you then see an additional option here which says audiences to target. Now we can specify up to 10 different security groups or Microsoft Teams that we want to target this particular link to. So say for example we had uh, certain links which were only relevant to the board of directors, we could then enter the board of directors security group here and that particular link would only display to the board of directors, meaning that anyone else who came onto the site would not see that navigational link appear. Now this is a little bit kind of um, there's pros and cons to that. Some people prefer to leave their navigation so that everyone can see the links so that, for example, if you were to come on and, and click on link and it would say access denied, at least you know that the link uh, is there enough to be able to ask, ask somebody for access. Whereas if you didn't know it existed, you would never know uh, it was there to start with. However, some people prefer to split this out. So maybe there are sort of departmental related links or business functions that you want to split out from the rest of the organization. And the audience targeting enables you to be able to do that. And number three is the organization web part chart. Recently, Microsoft released a new web part, um, which is the organizational chart that can display a hierarchy, hierarchy of a team and who people report to. You can add that to the page by clicking on, on this add button here. And if you just search for, uh, for example, org, you'll see organizational chart appear. Then all you need to do is specify a person's name. So I'm just going to type in my name here. And then we'll be able to see the people who report directly to me. Um, as well as when I click on myself, I can then go up uh, a, a level and see other people that are reporting to me. So this is an out of the box free web part and no longer will you necessarily need to buy a third party product to plug in to provide this organizational chart. My second favorite feature of a modern SharePoint intranet would be the vertical section on a home page. Now, by section, I mean when you edit a home page and you click on this add new section uh, icon on the left hand side, you'll see here you've got a vertical section. Now, this adds uh, an additional kind of bar on the right hand side of the screen, which you can then control by adding different uh, web parts in, into here. You can also um, click on the edit section and provide a solid color, and that provides a really nice sort of um, breakaway on the right hand side of the page. And then we can drag in certain web parts onto the page or adding new ones. I'm just going to add, I'm just going to drag in some ones that I already have on my page just to fill this content out a little bit. Uh, and maybe uh, I'll move this one above here. Just remove this one. And then when I publish, you see we've got this really nice now modern looking experience with this uh, right hand bar on the right hand side uh, next to my new slider. 
Then in at one, my number one favorite feature of modern SharePoint intranet is a news digest feature. Now this feature can be accessed by going onto your SharePoint homepage. And once you've got a number of articles that have built up, you'll then see this see all button appears. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the page library where you can see all the different news articles. You'll also see this button here, which says email on news digest. When you click on that, what it's going to say is, okay, select some news that you would like to add to your digest. Now this is going to be an email, which is going to be sent out to people. Um, you might want to use this for like a quarterly update or just generally driving a bit of traffic to your SharePoint homepage. Now I'm going to select a couple of articles that I find particularly interesting that will include in my newsletter. And then when I select them and click on next at the bottom, uh, it's then going to show me a little preview of what my newsletter is going to look like. And I can put in some text here. So I'm going to say this. Oops. Uh, this is some text. I just paste that a few times. So it's just a little bit of dummy text I can put in here. I can put in what my title will be. In this case, it'll be a winter newsletter. And then I can specify a distribution group or individually people I want to send this to. So once I'm happy with this, I can then click on the Send News Digest button across the bottom. And that's then going to send an email News Digest, uh, in this case, just to myself. But it can be sent to distribution lists as well. Then the newsletter email will come through. So I can see the full News Digest here with the information I put in, the title, um, the site that the News Digest has been generated from and who sent it, um, as well as I can see the information on these articles when I click on them and I can view each one, or I can click on Go to Site, which is going to open up the overall intranet. So I hope you enjoyed my top five features of a SharePoint intranet. Uh, I'd love to hear from you about what your top features are of SharePoint and post those in the comments below. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, pre-built solutions, training packages, and a pay-as-you-go support service, which bridges those knowledge gaps within your existing team. All of our employees are based in the UK and have years of experience deploying solutions with small businesses as well as large enterprise organizations. We offer a free consultation with a no obligation quotation. If this all sounds good, drop us an email, ask for Dougie, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.